the first quarter of the financial results for Hasbro of 2019 are in. It's the end of April as of this recording and the first quarter and all of Hasbro's information and relates to sales is now available. Uh, Brian Goldner, the CEO and head of Hasbro, was interviewed and talked about how, you know, during the decline of Toys R Us, they've noted that the first quarter results are actually quite positive. And so let's dive into that. So it seems that they're over and there's going to be some numbers here and you're going to be like snoring a little bit, but we'll get to the interesting stuff in a moment. Mm -hmm. Uh, So overall revenue, $732.5 million, up 2% from last quarter. So it's interesting that it's up from after Christmas. Yeah. So that's interesting. Means that the Christmas season wasn't very good, but their their January to April right now is is pretty decent. Uh, operating profits also um, having some issues. It seems there was a loss there um, of eighty million dollars. So mm, we'll see what what's going on with that. Mm-hmm. The the net earnings um, also is is a little bit of a loss, but not too bad. Now here's where the interesting stuff comes in. So revenue segmented, meaning broken down, uh, is up 1% in America and Canada. So they, it's not a huge growth, but it's just as good as holiday season. And it's up 1% in, uh, in Canada and the United States. Internationally, it's down 2%. Uh, now, that, and the funny thing is, is internationally, Toys R Us really didn't disappear as much and the opportunities for toys to get purchased and found internationally especially in Japan China and everything else is not as difficult with an absence of a Toys R Us also so it's interesting that they're down 2% internationally mm. now then when we start looking into the categories of what is successful and what isn't so their br- their franchise brands is up 9% what does that mean exactly? So that's the franchises that they actually own. Transformers, G.I. Joe, My Little Pony. Um, that's the stuff that's 100% stuff that they own. So what is that 9%? Well, I'm going to say that definitely is Transformers. There's not much else that I could think of that they 100% own that's on the shelves right now. That, um, how do I put it? that is going to add to that 9% outside of, unless My Little Pony's doing really well right now. I could be wrong if you're a brony or a pony or a clopper or whatever they're called. <laughs> uh, chime in, please, and let me know if, if pony is doing well too. That might add to that. Because right now it's not like we have, uh, you know, G.I. Joe kicking, you know what I mean, and stuff like that. Now they're partner brands. What are partner brands? That's the stuff that they make the toys for, but they don't own. So ah, okay. Now we're talking Star Wars, we're talking uh, Marvel toys, we're talking um, even stuff like even Pokemon on the Tommy side with Hasbro. Uh, That's down 14%. Now, I will say this right now, uh, Star Wars has not been good for Hasbro recently. Star Wars has been actually quite bad. Um, It's been not doing well for Hasbro, and it hurt them quite a bit. Uh, last quarter and it's it seems to continue uh same thing with the the marvel brand stuff for you know their marvel Legends stuff always finds its audience and people buy that but they also make a lot of product that's aimed at uh, a more mainstream audience and casual mm-hmm. audience and i ain't talking pop vinyls because that's not hasbro i'm talking more just like you know they make more give an example the avengers endgame movies coming out there's a lot of more dumbed down simpler figures that are out there and they look like 12 inch but they only move their arms and maybe not their legs kind of thing some are some are like giant stuff like that some are like well even though not only that like there's there's like a five inch line like and i remember i was like oh hey they made a thanos figure and i looked at it and i was like it's Mm. yeah like you like you said like four four pieces of articulation five at most um so there's a lot of that kind of stuff that kicks around. And every movie that comes out, they do that. Black Panther had that stuff. Like, you know, there's Black Panther legend stuff, which is the six-inch stuff of the articulation. And then there's Black Panther merchandising and everything of that manner. It's the same thing right now with Captain Marvel. There's a lot of Captain Marvel dolls, uh, figurines, 
plushes. So there's a lot of that product. And a lot of it isn't doing well for it right now. Uh, a lot of it has to be currently blamed on by Star Wars because that's another one of their partner brands that seems not doing well. But there's other stuff too that I'm pretty sure could probably be lumped in there because you have the Disney Princess stuff. There's a lot of stuff that Hasbro is responsible for. And it seems that partner brands down 14% is a big hit. Mm. That that's That's the most noticeable shift here. So... It really makes you wonder uh, what that 14% is, but I could take a few guesses. Um, their Hasbro Gaming is up 2%. Now, Brian Goldner actually uh, talked about this, and he mentioned how um, the release of Magic the Gathering Arena, which is their lace- latest um, online version of Magic the Gathering, has increased interest in Magic the Gathering, the card game, which is a brand that they own through Wizard of the Coast, and also the Transformers TCG that they released, which actually is finding success. Mm. So those two added to the 2% boost. It's not a big a big boost, but it does show that there's people that are interested and that and, there's a new new audience. And also with that um, that new Mag- Magic the Gathering video game, like I see ads for that a lot on YouTube and yep. online in general. So they're really, really pushing it. And it seems like a lot of people are taking to it and enjoying it. Yeah. Um, also, and again, I, I, one of the uh, franchises that they do own that actually was adding to that success that was actually growing uh, was Play-Doh was one of them, apparently. Ah. That, that's one of their franchise brands that apparently also added to that 9%. I just saw it now. Apparently, Play-Doh was a big player this year. Gotta love the goop. Mm-hmm. Um, and the last one is emerging brands. Emerging brands are stuff that they recently got within the last year. And Power Rangers? Yeah, there you go. Uh, and the success that that brings. Now, um, Power Rangers coming to Hasbro uh, has been a blessing and a curse, depending on who you ask within the Toku and Sentai community. Um, But a lot of people have been buying the product that Hasbro's been putting out, their Lightning Collection, as they call it, which is kind of their version, I guess we'll call it, of classics, if you will. And people have been eating it up. People have been really liking it. Hasbro uh, has a really good team behind uh, focusing on the history of Power Rangers in America and making product that matches that market, just like how Generations is for us collectors. And so there's a huge 22% growth from that. So there's clearly an audience for it. And that's I've great. Seen, I've definitely seen people showing off their uh, Lord Zed uh, version of that. And it looks really nice. Like finally a really good articulated Lord Zed is what I think anybody and everybody's been asking for and just never got it. <laughs> I, I agree because the last time they did a Lord Zed figure, uh, Power Rangers they, the movie. No, no, they did one. They did one for the, uh, they did, had a legends line as it was called. Uh, I believe it was out at the same time as wild force. I could be wrong on this. Mm. Um, and I own that Lord Zed and what sucks about it was it, it's not super, artic- it's nice. It's not super articulated, but they only painted the front of the figure, not the back. Oh, it's so weird. Yeah, so Lord Zed... That's a weird way to, like, cut corners over there. Yeah, so Lord Zed, who has a lot of, like, details and stuff yeah, like that especially and stuff yeah so it looks nice from the front you look in the back and they didn't bother <laughs> so so it, it and it's a nice it's a, up to that point it was probably the nicest lord zed figure again like you mentioned the movie one was the six inch scale wasn't that nice you know not very articulated very similar to what japan does with their uh Sufobi stuff at the time and uh i mean now we have that one so it's this one that, that came out recently from Hasbro, great stuff. And it, it, again, sign of the future of what that brand is going to have too. So there's a lot of success there. What does this mean for Transformers? I'm going to say it right now, and they say it too. Transformers was a large part of the brand, uh, their finance brand increase of 9%. Uh, Transformers is probably riding right now one of their most important brands uh, that they own. Uh, Star Wars really isn't doing much for them right now, even though these Marvel movies, look, hey, again, Marvel movies find tons of success, but it seems that the Hasbro produced product in relation to those movies are just not finding an audience because, Mm. you know, again, and I've said this many times. I would have assumed that with, um, I guess we just like as 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 of this recording, we had uh, Star Wars Celebration just concluded. And so there's all this new hype the, the hype machine for star wars is starting back up again for episode nine um for the new Man- mandalorian tv show 
uh, the new game, uh, The Last Jedi, was it? Or Jedi Last Order, I think. Last Order. Yeah, yep. so that new video game and, you know, so all that stuff, I would assume it might bring an uptick to partner brands for specifically Star Wars. But, I mean, like, if everyone's not feeling it, even though there's a bunch of new Marvel movies coming out and all that well, product, def- you know what I mean? Well, like, if, if, if you're seeing the... the the trend happening with Marvel stuff specifically, and they're constantly having movies coming out like every quarter as, well, if, we'll de- as it were, you know, we'll, we'll definitely see what the second quarter, uh, first quarter really partakes to the January, February, March, April. So that is pretty much, um, I, I guess it would be black Panther, Captain Marvel. Uh, the, what was that? We didn't really have Ant-Man anything. Star- Wasp. As Ant-Man and Wasp. We didn't have anything Star Wars, did we? So I don't know. So well, solo was last year. Yeah, solo was last year. Yeah, so that so, counts, I think. Yeah, so it's like it, it it kind of falls into that, and that's that's you know, like I said, if you were a Black Panther fan, like an adult fan, right, hardcore adult fan, then you would you, get the helmet. You You'd well, get that no, super you, crazy expensive helmet that you could wear. You, you would probably get a Hot Toys. You would probably like yeah. Like to to me to me like the the problem when it comes to the Marvel uh, the Marvel properties is that if you're a casual fan, you're probably going to lean more onto a pop vinyl yeah. or something that's a little more safer. If you're one of the really hardcore fans, yeah, you're going to get that Marvel Legends figure. But you're otherwise that if you like if you're the really hardcore fan, you're probably going to get like a Hot Toys or something that's like again. Black Panther product, but not sold through Hasbro, you know, and, and the same thing is happening with Avengers Endgame or anything like that. If you're someone who's like really excited about Avengers Endgame, probably a lot of the product that you're going to buy, if you're on any side of the spectrum, if you're one of the more casual fans, you're buying pop finals. If you're one of the more hardcore fans, you're probably eyeing some, you know, Avengers Endgame Thanos figure, you know, it's, it's the, the middle ground which is what Hasbro makes for this product. Yeah, the the legend scale stuff kind of meets a lot of the hardcore fans' needs too, but a lot of the middle ground stuff that makes up most of Hasbro's product mm. is aimed at a much more simple audience and younger audience. There's not a lot of adult collectors, and, and, and I love Thanos, but there's not a lot of adult collectors that are excited about a lot of the end game product they're putting out because it's made simple. It's 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 a lower quality, and I don't want to say it's crap, but it's it's a lower quality a lower budget product made more for children, uh, made more for for a product that you put it out there. It's cheaper to make. It's simpler to make. It's there for the movies. And when the movie's gone, so is the product. Yeah. So it's much. and it's the same thing. Like, you know, I I love Miss Marvel, Carol Danvers, and when the Captain Marvel movie came out, it was like, you know do I like, do I need these dolls? No, I don't. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's me as a grown male looking like, you know, I want to have a really nice Carol Danvers figure. I don't need these dolls. I don't need this, this plush of, of goose. You know what I mean? Like there's so who is that for? And so obviously it's aimed at children, Mm -hmm. but the problem is, is that how much, how much children want this product? That's, that's the question that's being answered here. And we're seeing the brand tick going down 14%. So there's, there's clearly something there. Like I said, there's people that love these movies, but they're obviously getting their merchandising fix on both sides of the spectrum, but from Funko on the low end and from Hot Toys and other more high end companies, Sideshow Collectibles being another one on the the high end yeah you know so it's 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 a tough thing it's a tough thing and and hasbro's just kind of in the middle you know selling you know the masks and 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 lower tier you know action figures and stuff like that but you know either way i mean that's that's pretty much it in a nutshell and uh hopefully hopefully uh hasbro will see more luck it looks like transformers is doing well for them but hopefully we'll see more luck in the second quarter